What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. So, Gilbert Arenas, oh boy, boy, boy. I'm telling you, man, he has to be the absolute worst when it comes to making comparisons, right? When it comes to comparing something going on now to something completely different or foreign or whenever he's trying to dismiss a prior error he always makes these um, over gen generalizations or he's just completely off with his comparisons so if you're trying to figure out what I'm talking about Gilbert Arenas uh, spoke on what it's like to be a former NBA player and how bad it is and um his description of it, of being a former player, is around the money. It's what he compares it to that I have a problem with. All right, let's see if I can find the audio here. I mean, to be honest, it's difficult. I mean, um, you know, you've been pampered since you was skilled, right, AAU, college, right, um, high school, like, you've been put on a pedestal, right, so, you know, most of the time when motherfuckers get to the NBA, they've never even done laundry before, when they got to college, somebody was doing their homework, somebody was doing their laundry, and then you get to the NBA, you on your own, right, for the first time, so when you get to the NBA, most of these people are on, for, for, they're on their own for the first time, trying to figure out how to be an adult, with all the money in the world, right? So you fly in private, you're doing all this stuff. Now, when you're done, it's no different than somebody who's been in jail for 10, 15 years or in the army, right? You didn't have a, most most players didn't have plan Bs. That's my problem right there. That's my problem, what he just compared it to. Being in the army, and worse, a person who's been in prison for ten to fifteen years. Right there, you know, we're Superman, right? So when we're done, one, we didn't know we were going to be done, right? So we sitting around trying to work out, and then it becomes a depression. It becomes a depression because everything we know left, right? The money doesn't matter at that point, right? Because the I understand to a certain extent what he's saying when he's comparing the two. He's talking about or the three. The adjustment. The adjustment to well what with prison, you you're used to being told what to do. You're used to being to a great extent subservient to authority. Um, after a period of time being in prison, you can become um, institutionalized, which often leads to people doing things or trying to do things to get back in prison, which leads to the uh, the high recidivism uh, high recidivism uh, rate. Then the army. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you have a hard time adjusting to civilian life. I, I get that part of it. What I don't like is when you're trying to make it seem like, oh, man, you know, like you, man, you know, I had it tough, man. I, you know, Yeah, I'm worth $200 million, but, man, like you, I got it bad, man. You know, I just want to do my life. Man, that dude in prison will look at you like, man, get the fuck out of my face, man. So you having a, a midlife identity crisis, more or less. You're 37 years old. You can't play at a high level anymore. This is some shit you should have been preparing for for years, but you've been bullshitting. So what you're really saying is, man, I miss being put on a pedestal. Man, I miss, uh, you know, I miss uh, being seen on television and, and, and feeling important, you know. And I, have, I hate to say it, but look, if you were pushing 40 
and you weren't going to strip clubs all the time, and maybe you got into a serious relationship, maybe you'd be a little bit more grounded. Maybe if you look, Gilbert Arenas to me, I believe he seemed like he's single. Uh, I don't believe he has kids. You were living a certain lifestyle. That's you. If you're now um, bored, for lack of a better word, you're bored. You don't have things to do. Um, so now you feel like you're compelled to do bad, negative things, drugs. Man, that's on you. I mean, I think that a player should always have a backup plan. That's the problem with most of these players. They don't have a backup plan. They don't ever think that this is going to end. They think it's going to continue and continue and continue on. And then, you know, you see these dudes crying in interviews about, man, uh, man, you know, I'm broke and I need someone to help me. Man, there are millions of Americans right now much more deserving of sympathy and help than you. Antoine Walker, it's not our fault you blew $110 million trying to gamble and play big bad with Michael Jordan. Jordan's a billionaire. He could afford to blow a million dollars. You weren't a billionaire, but you chose to do that shit. You blew your money. A lot of these other guys. I read about Glenn Rice being uh, broke and borderline homeless. That's on him. I read about Latrell Speedwell blowing his money. That's on him. It's not on us. You know, I've, I've heard about how Shaq said a lot of these, these players are, are literally living paycheck to paycheck. Ben Simmons. That's on them. That's your stupidity. I just don't like when they try to, like, make you feel sorry for them. Now, the Tony Snell situation, I know some people in the comment section were saying, oh, well, he made all this money and all that. Yeah, but you don't know where that money's going, man. You have no idea where that money's going. Like, he could be, you know, he, he could have a lot of that money in, like, a, a trust fund or something for his kids. Uh, I, we don't know how many kids. I don't know how many kids he has. Let me see. I know he said he has two with autism. Let me see. I wasn't aware that Tony Snell was diagnosed with autism. Hmm. And his kids have it. I guess they have a more severe form. But anyway, I can kind of sympathize with Tony Snell because, yeah, he made fifty some million dollars, but we don't know where that money's gone. Um, a lot of that money is probably ate up by taxes. So he may have only had half of that shit in his pocket or $28 million. Then you have Lord, uh, you have fees, agent fees, and all these other things you got to pay. So we don't know exactly where that money has gone. So at the end of the day, Tony Snell's different. But, but to compare that shit to uh, Gilbert Arenas and all these other guys, that's BS.